When you're a beginner, it can be overwhelming when you're looking for projects to make. You may have an idea of something that you would like to work on, but sometimes you don't even know where to start. And today I'm sharing 25 of the cutest crochet patterns for absolute beginners. I only included projects that have video tutorials and that are taught by some of the best crochet teachers on YouTube. And I've left links for everything in the description box below. The very first project are these adorable, cute little hearts. And this tutorial was made by Hooked by Robin and she is an amazing teacher. You are going to love her if you have never come across any of her crochet tutorials before. And what's great about this project is that it's going to whip up super quick. You could make a bunch of them and string them together for a little garland, or you could just make one and glue it to a little card for your significant other or for a best friend, or even just keep it for yourself. The next project is a granny square. And I've included this tutorial from Brittany from Be Hooked. She is one of the best crochet teachers out there. And this is the project that I started with when I started crocheting. And granny squares are so versatile. You can make obviously blankets, but you can also make garments and accessories. It is limitless what you can make. And once you get the basics of a traditional granny square, you can move on to all different types of granny squares. The possibilities are endless. One little trick that can be very helpful for beginners when you are watching a YouTube tutorial is to change the playback speed. Go to the little gear icon down at the bottom of the video and click it and that's when you'll see a little tab pop up called playback speed. And it's going to show you all of the different options that you have, whether you want to make the video go slower or faster. The minute I saw this next project, I knew that it was going to not only go on this list, but it's something that I want to create for myself. It's the simple daisy bookmark from This Pixie Creates, and this is such a perfect beginner pattern because it's going to work up quickly, and if you are a bookworm like me, you are going to love it. And if you love making bookmarks like I do, I also have a free floral bookmark tutorial here on YouTube as well. It's better for once you have a little experience under your belt, but it will be waiting for you when you're ready. The next project Project is the Cute Crochet Bunny by Mayhoom, and I didn't think this was a beginner-friendly project at first until I started looking at all of the different comments, and there were so many where people wrote in that they were absolute beginners and they were able to crochet this bunny, so I obviously had to include it in my list. But make sure to check out all of the other tutorials that she has on her channel. They are so adorable. The next project is the Retro Daisy Granny Square by Elise Myers. Now, I've been following Elise for a while on TikTok and I've always loved her content. She is so funny. But when she started getting into crochet, I thought, ooh, this is going to be so good. And I am so glad that she has started doing these tutorials. And from the comments, people are loving her teaching style and even absolute beginners were able to make this pattern. This is another project that is going on my make list. Even though I'm not a beginner, I need to have this one in my life. When I first started crocheting, crocheting back in 2016, I didn't want to just be able to make one project and then learn how to make another project. I wanted to learn all of the fundamentals of crochet so that I could make anything I wanted. And that's why I joined Craftsy, which is an online community of like-minded creators where members can find endless inspiration, advance their existing skills, and discover a new hobby. Craftsy has over 2,000 creative classes for makers of all skill levels. The videos contain step-by-step -step instructions in 20 different creative areas like crochet, knitting, sewing, and painting, just to name a few. I've taken several classes with Craftsy, and this is one of my favorites for absolute beginners. It's the Startup Library Crochet by Selena Baca. In this class, you're going to learn the fundamentals of crochet, starting with your tools and materials. And there's a whole separate lesson on the importance of yarns, which is going to be so important as a beginner to help you to choose the right yarn for the project. You'll also learn the five foundational stitches of crochet, plus you will learn how to read patterns and charts. Finally, you're going to put all of that knowledge together and make four different projects. A headband, a hat, 
a cowl, and a scarf. What I love about Craftsy is that you are going to walk away feeling confident with your new crochet skills and be able to take your craft to the next level. And what's even better is that the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a full year of premium membership to Craftsy for only $1.49. Thank you so much to Craftsy for sponsoring today's video. The next project is the mini flower drawstring bag by Korshawn. This is the most adorable little drawstring bag and I love that it has the little daisies at the end of the drawstrings. I think that is such a cute little touch. But as I was reading through all of the different comments, so many absolute beginners were thanking the creator for making this video tutorial because they were able to follow it and make their very own adorable little mini flower drawstring bag. The next project is for those of you who want to learn how to crochet amigurumi and this is Bubble the Catster. This is my little tutorial and my pattern and I've gotten so many comments from people who have shared how this helped them to learn how to crochet amigurumi. His name is Bubble the Catster and that's because you can either make him a cat or a hamster depending on his ears. But I really love this project. It's so much fun and you're going to learn so much. The next project is the Crochet Daisy Bookmark by Hopeful Turns and what I love about this project is not only it's adorable, it's a bookmark, but also you're going to learn how to start reading a pattern. And once you're able to not only crochet from a video tutorial, but you're starting to understand how to read a crochet pattern, a whole world is going to open up for you. And I encourage you to start working on that skill while you're learning how to crochet because it will become second nature. The next project is the Easy Crochet Beanie for Absolute Beginners, and this is by Sherilyn Q. What I love about this tutorial is that it is perfect for for the absolute beginner, you're going to learn how to make a beanie and be able to wear it. Well, as long as it's cold outside, you probably don't want to wear this if it's warm outside because it's going to keep your head nice and toasty. I love projects like this that are a quick win and you can really feel good about what you're making and it will give you that confidence to move on to the next project. The next project is the Fast and Easy Blanket by Bella Coco Crochet. She is the OG of crochet tutorials on YouTube. You will find so many amazing videos and tutorials and patterns from her on YouTube and her blog. And this is such a great project to learn how to crochet. And if you're the kind of person who would rather have something in book form rather than video tutorial, Bella Coco also has a book called You Can Crochet with Bella Coco. This book is more like a crochet course than it is just a straight up pattern book. And each one of the projects will get slightly more advanced as you learn each new skill. It is absolutely fabulous. And if you're the kind of person that likes to have something written and in book form, I would highly recommend it. A Crochet Scarf is one of the best beginner projects, and this one is from Brittany from Be Hooked. It's not only a great way to learn how to crochet, but it's something useful that you'll be able to wear for years to come, whether you keep it for yourself or you gift it to somebody that you love. What I love about Brittany is that she is a fantastic crochet teacher, and she is going to set you up for success and help you to understand what she's doing and why she's doing it. The next project are the very easy crochet crochet doily coasters and this tutorial is from crafting with Kayleen. When I think doily I think very old-fashioned and very complicated but these are very beginner friendly. Another great thing is that this is a great stash busting project and if you're a beginner you might not have a great huge stash but trust me if you crochet for very long you're gonna need stash busting projects. Baby blankets are great projects for absolute beginners. And this one from Massive Crochet is a little bit different than the other tutorials that I've shared. This video has no words at all. It just has some background music and they are showing how to make this beautiful baby blanket with only their hands. And a lot of the commenters were sharing that it was extremely helpful for them because they get distracted by a lot of words and someone talking. And just to be able to see what someone's hands were doing and it's very close up, it helped them to learn how to crochet. So I definitely wanted to include this for those of you that find a lot of talking 
very distracting when you're trying to learn something. The next project is the quick and beautiful beanie hat. And the thing that I loved about this one is that this tutorial will show you how to attach a pom-pom to the top of your beanie. And I love that look. Plus this beanie is going to keep your head warm all winter. The next tutorial is the easy crochet bag by A Bo C Studio. I also love that in this tutorial, she is showing you how to hold the yarn double so that you can get that very Variegated effect. The next video isn't a tutorial, but it's a collection of stitches. And this is from Krista from The Secret Yarnery. What I really like about this video is that Krista is showing you five different beginner-friendly stitches that you can use to make blankets of any size. This is so wonderful as a beginner to see all of the different amazing options that you have when it comes to crochet stitches and all the different ways that you can make something as simple as a blanket. And once you find the stitch that you love, she has links to each one of the individual tutorials in her description box. I highly recommend checking this one out. Crocheted scrunchies are another great project for beginners, and this tutorial from Erica Arndt is perfect. Another thing that I love about this tutorial is that her cat makes an appearance, which happens in my videos all the time. So if you're a cat person, you definitely have to check that video out. Dishcloths are a great way to learn how to crochet. And the beginner cotton dishcloths is a great way to jump into learning how to crochet. One of the best pieces of advice that Melanie talks about in the video is your crochet hook choice. I could not agree with this more. Melanie recommends a Clover Amour crochet hook. That is my hands down favorite crochet hook for beginners. Normally, I would not recommend a crocheted cardigan to a beginner, but this tutorial changed my mind. This is the Easy Crochet Cardigan for Beginners by Katie Ree. And after reading quite a few of the comments, I was completely surprised that so many newbies to crochet were able to easily make this garment. This is the perfect project for someone who really wants to learn how to crochet garments and they are motivated to learn. Plus, it's absolutely adorable. The next project is by Crochet with Tiffany Hansen, and this is a crochet blanket for absolute beginners. What's even better about this project is that Tiffany explains that you can use any yarn that you have. Super thin yarn, super thick yarn, it doesn't matter. You can use it for this project. I've tried not to include too many amigurumi patterns, but I had to include this adorable crocheted bee by Hooked by Robin. This is not only an adorable project, but it is super simple. And Robin is one of the best crochet teachers here on YouTube. I mean, look how cute it is. I, I had to include it. I had no choice. These farmhouse dishcloths by Amanda Crochets are another perfect project to learn how to crochet. And what's great is that you're going to end up with something super practical. And it doesn't matter if you make a bunch of mistakes, they're just dishcloths. You'll still be able to use them. One of my favorite things about the Everyday Tote Bag by Christine's Crochets is that this is a beginner friendly project but it doesn't look like. So when you come strolling in with your very own crocheted tote bag, people are going to ask, where did you get that? And then you can tell them I crocheted it myself. The last project is the crunchy, cro chunky, chunky. The next project is the chunky crochet scarf for beginners by With Love Leisha. This is a wonderful project for beginners because of the way this scarf is constructed. And by using self-striping yarn, it's going to look like you have advanced crochet skills, even though you're just a beginner. I hope you enjoyed all 25 of these crochet projects for absolute beginners. And let me know in the comment section, which one was your favorite and the one that you're going to be starting with. Stay safe and happy stitching.